Welcome back to GearWire. My name is Bill Holland, and you're looking at the Fab Filter Twin 2. This is a very cool virtual analog synthesizer uh, VST from Fab Filter Software Instruments. I've just downloaded this, so you'll see I'm still getting familiar with it. It's There's a lot to do here. You'll see you have your three oscillators here, one, two, three. And I have a basic triangle wave that I can control graphically. Very different interface than a lot of synthesizers out there. I have my square wave set up here. Another really cool thing that you don't see on a lot of synths is this little on off button using the uh, universal on off sign. Now not only does that apply to the oscillators, but that shows up on a lot of the different controls like the filters, for example. We also have XY controls for each of these oscillators. And you can assign under each of these uh, what the different effects are. So for example, filters down here. I can set how the filter reacts, what the amount level is. Filter frequency 2. If I want to change it up, I go here. And I can actually say I want to control oscillator 1. Assign a bunch of uh, controls for oscillator 1 to my XY control. So let's say I want to put some pan in there, maybe a uh, controlled pulse width. Just turn these off real quick. Now you'll see the chain here. We have one, two, and three going to the filters. And you can assign how the filters are set up, whether they're set as serial, parallel, or per oscillator. Master tune control, portamento. And down here, you can navigate through all the different modulation parameters. So if I go down here, I can actually slide back and forth, a very handy and easy way to navigate. So for example, for my main envelope gain, that's right here under EG. Increase my release. Something else that's pretty interesting is the way you control the LFOs. Notice each of these LFOs has an individual control, so you can kind of set how it modulates. So, for example, uh, let's see where this one's going. LFO 4. It's going over to, uh, looks like it's controlling the delay filter. So, play this back. You can actually switch up how this affects the delay filter. In this case, this one affects filter frequency. Make sure these are on real quick. Okay, they're on. You can see how that changes. You also set the glide, which visually changes as you adjust the glide knob. Over here we have pitch control, velocity, keyboard control, aftertouch, and our modulation control. <laughs> 